So tonight we're gonna make banana bread and this is quick and easy. Everybody has, everybody has bananas that you don't eat. Make them into a banana bread. And people, are just like their chocolate chip cookies, they all have different recipes and they're passionate about their banana bread. Mine is quick, easy, you dump, mix, bake. That's it. So I already prepped, so this video is gonna be quick. So in my bowl here of the dry ingredients, I have two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a tisp of baking soda. You need like a three fourth tisp of cinnamon, but I always do like a, like a lot, a lot of cinnamon. It's up to you. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then I sift. So it's already sifted, ready to dump. Um, you need three ripe bananas. You can do four, you can do two, whatever you want. You'll need two eggs, a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of, uh, you can do vegetable oil, I'm gonna use canola oil, and chocolate chips. I put chocolate chips in my banana bread. You can put nuts in your banana bread. You don't have to put anything in your banana bread. Banana bread's versatile, make it personal. We always like chocolate chips because that's what the kids like, and that's what I fix. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get going. Seriously, this is so quick and easy. So, a cup of sugar goes in your mixer. You can use a hand mixer or you can just do it by hand. A half a cup of oil. You can also use a half a cup of butter, but I never do on my banana bread. I use oil. It is the only recipe that I ever do oil with. Most of the time I use butter because butter makes it better. All right, and in your bananas, in they go. With the eggs, seriously, it is like dump and go. So I'm gonna get that mixed first and then I'm gonna add the eggs. Add the eggs one at a time. Get that incorporated one at a time. That looks good. And so just like with cake, you don't wanna add the flour mix all at once. And so, hold on. You want to do it in stages. Oh, you can smell that cinnamon. Yeah, wait a minute, the recipe calls for, how much? Oh, one teaspoon. <laughs> I put like, I don't know, two tablespoons. <laughs> With the cinnamon and the chocolate chips, my gosh, you can't, you can never have too much cinnamon, ever. And then I bake this for, how long do I bake this? I don't know. 50 minutes? Hold on. Yeah, 50 to 55 minutes. Now the secret, now I have two secrets, because I always have secrets when I bake, or and cook. So the number one secret is love. <laughs> she just rolled her eyes. And, and number two, if you can do this, it's, it, it's like the best thing for banana bread. After it's done baking, wait till it co cools completely, 100% complete cool. Then wrap it in foil, go to bed, and then the next day is when you wanna eat your banana bread. A lot of people are like, no, you eat it hot. No, no. You wanna wait the next day to eat the banana bread because it, all those flavors meld together and the top of the bread gets all soft and yummy. And so if you can, wait till the next day to eat your banana bread. Okay, I'm gonna fold in about a half a bag of chocolate chips. Just let me get my scissors. Uh, so a half a bag of chocolate chips because, or three fourths bag. I'm 
I'm gonna fold it in. And then prep your pan. You wanna spray your pan with ham or use a nonstick pan. I use a nonstick pan, but I always spray it because you never know. And this pan does love me, not like the other one. Okay, so we're just gonna dump it in. Okay, so just shake it, tap it. I am gonna put a pan. I'm gonna put this on the pan because sometimes your bread can overflow into your oven. So to protect it, I bake it like this. It goes in the oven for 50 to 55 minutes until you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. Then it's done. And then cool it 100% wrap it in foil and eat it the next day. Believe me, you'll be happy. Yo, you cool it out. Don't cool it in the pan. Okay. We'll see you in an hour. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. It's super good. I'm gonna put it on the rack here. And so I'm gonna let that cool in the pan for a little bit, about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it out and then I'm gonna cool it on a wire rack until it's 100% cool, remember the trick, and then wrap it in foil. If you, can, if you can, if you can control yourself, wrap it in foil and then have it the next day because it gets all moist and the flavors all gel together and it just, it's a little bit of heaven. So, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Bye. Hi, good morning. Here it is. It sat overnight and no one touched it. I was expecting to, when I took off the foil to see a cut gone, like a piece gone, but my children behaved. So here it is, it sat overnight. It's ready to be cut and enjoyed. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. Oh, yep, got my bread knife, my fancy bread knife. I'm gonna cut. I don't like the end, but someone else made that. Oh, look at it. So that is it. That's my banana bread recipe. I hope you guys make it and enjoy. Um, have a good day. I curled my hair so I can mop the floors today. Have a good one. Bye.